God bless you. You are welcome in Jesus' name wherever you are joining us from. It's good to see you all again. God bless you. You welcome. Today's topic is very very interesting. A lot of people will be blessed because it is a topic that would be long um, waiting for. Ugo, you are welcome. God bless you. Wherever you are joining us from, I know that today God is going to bless you indeed. Please begin to invite friends, begin to share wherever you are joining from. Um, wherever you are joining us from. Begin to share, begin to invite friends or loved ones. Let me know you are there. God bless you. God bless you all. God bless you all. God bless you, Elizabeth. You are all welcome wherever you are joining from. The message tonight is a revelation. You are going to be blessed by the grace of God. I'm very, very certain that today you are going to be blessed by the exhortation. I will be speaking on what I titled the havoc of the spirit spouse. The havoc of the spirit spouse. The havoc of the spirit spouse. When we talk about the spirit spouse, we're talking about the spirit husband and spirit wife. This is the simple reason why a lot of marriages are failed. This is the reason why so many businesses have collapsed. This is the simple reasons why a lot of people can't make it academically. This is the simple reason why a lot of career, a lot of profession has gone down the drain. Simply because there is a covenant that has never or that has not been broken. So tonight, it is a wonderful topic. Wherever you are, begin to share in all the platforms that you belong to, go there, begin to share, begin to invite friends, send to a friend, somebody will be blessed by this message today. This message is a revelational message, and I know as we pray together, whatever bondage that you've been into shall be broken in the name of Jesus. God bless all of you. Let me know those who are joining us. God bless you wherever you are joining us from. Please let us know where you are joining us from. Just tell us you are welcome. God bless all of you. God bless all of you. God bless all of you. Nobody is on this platform by accident. Whether somebody invited you, you are not joining us by accident. God wants you to join us for a purpose. You are here tonight for a purpose. And as you join us, God is going to bless you and you will never regret joining us. God bless you. God bless you. Welcome. Begin to share. Begin to share. Invite your friends, your loved ones. Let all of them be part of it. God bless you. God bless you. You are welcome. Oh, God bless you. Elizabeth. Uh, uh, for, let me apologize for the time. A lot of people have been waiting for the time. I sincerely apologize due to some circumstances um, beyond our control. Please forgive us. God bless you all. Please pardon us. We are just with time to ensure that um, we will keep to the time that um, you tell us. I mean, that we tell you. God bless you all. God bless you. Please pardon us for the time. God bless you. Nepiat, how are you? Nepiat, you are watching from Nebraska. We are sorry for coming behind um, time. Please accept my apology. Wherever you are joining us from, God bless you. Please let us know where you are joining us from. God's word is coming with power. Now listen to me. When you pray, God send that his angel. But whenever the word of God is coming, God will be at work. He sent forth his word and he delivered them. The spirit of God is behind every spoken word. So as I preach, as I speak the word of God tonight, every yoke shall be broken. The genes the enemies have placed upon you shall be lifted. Every embargo shall be dismantled. Whenever the word of God is coming, it is sent forth and is coming in power. So tonight is going to be a night of deliverance, a night of breakthrough, a night of open doors, a night of revelation. Begin to invite your friends, your loved ones, wherever you are joining. Let us know where you're joining us from. It's very important. God bless all of you. God bless you all. You are welcome in Jesus' name. And a lot of you have been joining. Please begin to share, begin to share. 
you're gonna share i'm so excited it's been a while that we've been here on the live broadcast it's been a while please invite your friends invite your loved ones it is your turn to testify whatever that has been holding you bound the yoke is going to be broken in the name that is above every other name jesus the son of the living god so begin to invite friends begin to invite your loved ones begin to invite friends your loved ones share 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 as you share people are being connected as you share people are being connected let me know that you are joining us and where you are joining us from god bless you let me know where you are joining us from wherever you are joining us from begin to share keep sharing the more you share the more people are being connected the more the more people will be blessed tonight i know that you are not joining us by accident it is not a mistake you are on this platform tonight god brought you here all things work together for good because we are god's children you joining us is for a purpose and that purpose tonight is the purpose of deliverance the purpose of liberation the word of god is coming in power God bless you. God bless you. Zoro Jonto. God bless you all. Wherever you are joining us from, let's know that you are there. We are going to look at 40 havoc of the spirit spouse. When we talk about the spirit spouse, we are talking about the spirit husband. Those from Riverine area, it is a phenomenon. It is a pattern that the water spirit arrangement is going to be constant. Those that were born in the Riverine area, it is, it is certain that the water spirit is going to go after them, it's going to chase them. Those whose parents worship the water goddess, worship the idol that resides in the water, definitely this force is going to go after them. Distance is not a barrier, location is not a barrier. Wherever you are, this same force is going to resist you. God bless you, God bless you. I'm looking at 40 havoc of the spirit spouse. This is something that the devil has seeded from a lot of people. As a matter of fact, a lot of people, they do not know that things like this exist. Yes, things like this exist. It's a reality. The spirit spouse is a reality. We pray for people. We saw the spirit husband coming out of them, speaking through them. We have seen that a lot of people put them through prayers. The spirit husband will come out of them. So we are going to see some of the things, some of the havoc that the spirit husband has done in the lives of people and what he's doing in the lives of so many people unknown to them. So today is a day that you will be blessed. It's a day of revelation. It is a time for deliverance, a time for breakthrough, for open doors. The yoke of the water spirit that has been arising you is going to be broken. You know why a lot of people are not married? You know why so many marriages are not working? Just stay on. Invite your friends. Begin to share right now. Begin to share. Let a lot of people join you to be part of this blessing. Invite your friends wherever you are joining us. Begin to share. Begin to share. God bless you. Zoro, um, Sami, you call, you join in from Ghana. You will join in from Lagos. Stella. God bless you. So wherever you are joining us from, let's know where you are joining us from. So today, it's special. Today is unique. Today is a day of deliverance. Today, it's revelational. So begin to invite your friends begin to invite your loved ones let them join us right now let them join us right now let us join us right now father bless the hearer bless all your children wherever they might be under the face of this earth let your word come with power let there be deliverance let there be liberation let there be victory in the name of jesus as you join us right now wherever you are joining us from as the word of god comes let there be quickening on the inside of you let every closed doors be opened in the name of jesus jeremiah bride god bless you my son you're watching from italy god bless you all please begin to invite friends begin to share um let's know that you are joining us begin to share begin to share begin to share keep sharing even the platform you are watching share just keep sharing in all the platforms that um, you are in begin to share right now you're going to share, God bless you, God bless you. Now listen to this, I'm going to read from this uh, extract. It's in one of my book. I'm going to read from this extract. Now listen attentively. The spirit spouse, the spirit husband, the spirit wife, it is a reality. The spirit husband, the spirit wife is a reality. All those who swim in the water, 
in the river those that do see themselves that they are swimming in the ocean in the lake those who see themselves in the dream that they are having sex that they are getting married that somebody is giving them ring somebody is engaging them in the, in the dream unknown face strange personality it is a symptom is a pointer that there is a spiritual marriage there is a spiritual spouse somewhere there is a spiritual spouse somewhere there's a spiritual spouse somewhere now listen to this spirit wife or husband are responsible for a lot of battles that so many people are passing through what they are going through i'm going to read all of that i'm going to i mean um, i'm going to point out some of those things that will definitely happen when the spirit spouse is at work when the spirit spouse is at work let nobody deceive you even your dream is a pointer some of the things that are happening to you some of the symptoms some of the effects is a proof that yes there is a battle you might not know the source you might not know the know the root but something is wrong somewhere something is wrong somewhere mary god bless you you watching from lagos please begin to share the more you share the more a lot of people will join us and be blessed today and those people that get to join us because you shared the the the, the, the message with them they will appreciate you they will appreciate you let this message get to somebody invite a friend send to them via messenger and they will indeed appreciate you that they get the message from you so just as i said a lot of battles that is confronting a lot of women single married um is as a result broken holes is as a result of the attack it's as a result of the rod of the spirit spouse being stretched towards so many destinies a lot of people they are victims unknown to them they've been in bondage for years some of them they ignored it some of them they ignored it we're going to read the scripture we're going to re- read the scripture but listen to this don't worry we are going to give you prayers prayer is going to come uh, marachi don't worry about that i'm going to read the bible the bible told us in the book of john chapter 10 verse 10 that the devil came on a mission he has an agenda Bible says he came to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But Jesus said, I came that I might have life and have it to the fullest, abundantly. I came to remove whatever has been troubling you. God bless you, um, Dada. Wherever you are joining, please begin to share. If you join us, please share. If you are joining us, please share. And as you share, you will be blessed. Others will be blessed as well. The best way to extend blessing is to you know share you know you extend it and others will participate now listen to this many people now listen to listen to what i'm about to say listen to what i'm about to say wherever you are just listen now many people do not understand or do not have the understanding of the mystery of the spirit wife and spirit husband But a lot of people have played down the reality of spirit spouse. Some people don't believe it, but that is the architect of their problem. They are where they are today because the spirit husband is against them. Because the spirit wife is against them. Now listen to me. Just as we have physical marriages, so we do have spiritual marriages. Just as we have physical marriages, so we do have spiritual marriages. This is one of the major causes of marital delay, marital crisis. Spirit spouse has tormented a whole, a, a whole lot of people. Has tormented a whole lot of destinies. A spirit spouse, spirit husband has been attached to so many homes, and thereby is bringing a lot of havoc. Now listen to this. Let's go to the scripture before we continue. Let's go to the scripture. Let's go to the scripture. Let's go to the scripture. The book of um, the book of Jude. The book of Jude, from verse 
book, the book of Jude, verse 6 and to 8. The book of Jude. Let's look at the Bible. Let's look at the Bible. You're watching from Lagos. God bless you, Joshua. God bless you. The book of Jude. Let's look at the book of Jude. We're looking at 40 havoc of the spirit spouse. The one we call the spirit husband and the spirit wife. It is a reality. It is a reality. A woman who once told me, Mr. Pastor, a woman of about 60 years, said at night a man will come. The man will be rubbing her breast and the man will be massaging her. She's been having this dream. Sometimes the man will sleep with her. Before this woman got to this age, she's had broken home like three times. She got married and those marriages never worked. And this dream remains and it has been a pattern in her life. She never knew that that was the reason why she's gone through all those things that has happened to her. So it is very, very important. This topic, it is cardinal. This topic, it is, it is, it is, it is, it is, it is a defining moment for so many people that shall be listening tonight. As many that are watching or that are listening wherever you are, you are not joining by accident but by divine ordination. God ordained you being in this place. So pay attention. Don't be in haste. Just wait and see what God is going to do through this message in your life. It's going to be it's a revelational message. It's going, to be, it's going to be a deliverance message as well. In the book of Jude, chapter 1, verse 6 to 8. And the angel which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he had reserved in everlasting chains unto darkness, unto the judgment of the great day. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them, in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication, and going after strange flesh, I said for an example, suffering the vengeance of the internal fire. Likewise also, these filthy dreamers defy the flesh, despise dominion, and speak evil of dignities. This scripture is telling us about what happened in the beginning. That there are forces, there are demons responsible for what we are talking about. Some of the fallen angels that came down with Lucifer, those that reside in the water, those that are born in the water, they are responsible. Those that are born in the land, they are responsible for the misery of the spirit spouse. Spirit spouse is a reality. Spirit wife, spirit husband is a reality. The reason why a lot of people are in bondage today, it is a spirit wife, it is a spirit husband. Tonight, if you are in that bondage, that bondage is going to be broken. The reason why you are not married, the reason why your identity has been polluted, the reason why you know it seems as if you are maxed, the reason why it looks as if you are covered. No man is seeing your beauty. And despite you are beautiful, you are educated, despite you have good character, yet no man is approaching you, something is wrong somewhere. You try to please the man that you marry to, the more you please him, the more he's offended. Both of you have been fighting, you've been cut around, you've been enduring, you've been battered, you've been shattered. These are the forces responsible. A lot of people have certificate, no, no matter where they try to go, they can't get a job. You know why some people, their business is sinking? It's because the spirit husband, the spirit wife is angry. is waging war against whatever that person lays his or her hand to do. I pray for you tonight, every strange battle from the water, every strange battle of spirit husband, spirit wife, against your destiny shall be defeated in the name of Jesus. It shall be defeated in the name of Jesus. So the spirit spouse, the spirit husband, it is a reality. The spirit spouse, the spirit husband, is a reality. Genesis, let me read somewhere in Genesis for you. Let me read somewhere in Genesis for you. Let me read somewhere in the book of Genesis. Genesis chapter 19. 
Genesis chapter 19. I'm going to read somewhere in the book of Genesis. Genesis chapter 19 from verse 1. Genesis chapter 19. In the book of Genesis chapter 19. He talked about this, the story of Sodom and Gomorrah. He talked about the story of Sodom and Gomorrah. Strange beings. The people are involved in a relationship with strange beings. And that, you know, um, makes God to be angry with them. Let me read from this place. Genesis from verse 19, 1 to 25. And there came two angels to Sodom at, ev- at even, and Lord sat in the gate of Sodom, and Lord seeing them rose up to meet them, and bowed down, and bowed himself with his face towards the ground, and behold, and he said, Behold, now my Lord, turn in. I pray you into your servant, into your servant's house, and tarry all night, and watch your feet, and ye shall rise up early, and go your ways. And they say, Nay, but we will abide in the street all night. And he pressed upon them greatly, and they turned in unto him and enter into his house and he made them a feast and did bake on living bread and they did eat praise God now let's see somewhere um, around verses um, let's see somewhere around verses um, from verse 15 let's go to verse 15 and when the morning rose then the angel hastened, Lord saying, Arise, take thy wife and thy two daughters, which, which, are, which are here, lest thou be consumed in the iniquity of the city. And why he lingered, the men laid hold upon the hand and upon the hand of his wife, and behold, the hand of his two daughters, and the Lord being merciful unto them, and they were brought forth and set him without the city. Now, let me explain. Let me explain. You may not have the time to read all the scripture. Let me explain to you what the Bible is saying. Here, the Bible is saying that in the beginning, the people of Gomorrah, the, the, the Sodomite, the people of Sodom and Gomorrah practice great evil in the sight of God and the anger of God was kindled against them and God sent his angel to come and destroy the city praise God God sent his angel to come and destroy Sodom and Gomorrah why because they had relationship with strange beings they had relationship with praise God God bless you man of God they had relationship with strange beings. They had relationship with, you know, um, with spirits. Not with men, not with physical people. They had relationship and then they gave birth to abnormal children. So God was angry with them. Now, this is the reality. Listen to this. Listen to what I'm, I'm going to say. This is the one I'm going to say. What is the spirit spouse? It is the invisible being that have sex with people through their dreams. The invisible being that have sex with people through their dreams. That is the spirit spouse. Number two, it is a demon married to physical people. It is a demon married to physical people. They are spirit who who has 
binding covenant with human beings. They are spirit that has binding covenant with human beings. They are spirit, they have a covenant, a legal covenant that is binding. Then number four, they are spiritual sex partners. The spirit husband, the spirit wife, they are spiritual sex partners. Number five, this is the unseen faces laying claim of a man or of a woman as their own property. So the spirit spouse, the spirit husband, the spirit wife, it is that, it is that spirit, it is that invisible being laying claim of your life, of a man, of a woman, that they are the owner. Number, number six, they are the night visitors whose main assignment is to sleep with both male and with female. The agenda is that they are married and children are brought through such sexual intercourse. Every encounter with a spirit husband will also produce spirit children. Those ones, they have the assignment. They ensure that the physical children the person is going to bring up they are going to be wayward. They are not going to be good children. They pollute them. So, that is why when you pray against the spirit spouse, when you are breaking the covenant with water spirit, with spirit husband, you also break every covenant you have with spirit children. You set them ablaze. Every children had in this marriage, the yoke is broken. You set them ablaze. Number seven, spirit husband or spirit wife is a spirit that sees somebody as part of the invisible family. I say this again. The spirit husband or the spirit wife is a spirit that sees somebody, that sees a human as part of the invisible family. Because they lay claim of the person, because they believe the person is their own, and therefore they can come anytime to mess up the person. Sometimes they come seasonally. Sometimes they are, the attack is rampant during rainy season. Because that is the time the spirit of a man is very soft. That is the time, you know, the body is, you know, is eating up. So that is the time they normally come. And they come to strike. And once they strike, there's going to be a problem in the life of the person. What, what is, are the sources of spirit husband and spirit wife? It can, number one, it can be inherited. It can be inherited. Spirit spouse can be inherited. It can be inherited. There are powers in your father's house, in your mother's house. They are idol the worship. And the such powers in those idols, in those shrines, will be married to everybody in the family. And that is why some people, they are seeing these things, it's coming often, and then they can also trace it to where they are coming from. Now listen to this. Number two, source. True borrowed things, borrowed item. People can acquire the spirit husband, the spirit wife. When you borrow things from people to wear, to use, especially the female folks, those things you borrow from people, you can acquire, you can accommodate, you can, you know, buy the spirit husband by yourself, the spirit spouse by yourself. Please, wherever you are joining, begin to share this broadcast. Begin to share, invite your friends, your loved ones. Begin to share right away. Just begin to share, begin to share, begin to share. Begin to share, begin to share, begin to share, begin to share. Share, 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 share. Share. Begin to invite friends, let them join us. Begin to invite your loved ones, let them join us. Begin to invite your loved ones. Begin to invite them, let them join us. Now, number three. Through sex with marine agents, you know, they have sex physically with anybody that has coming out with the water, automatically you have acquired by yourself the spirit husband and spirit wife. There is a trans there is a transference of strange spirit from that person into you, and therefore spiritually you are married out to the powers in the water. When you had physical sex with spirit, with some with satanic with marine agent, then you have acquired the spirit husband, spirit wife. It can come through that channel. Then number four, through erected idols of the past. 
do you have idols before you have an idol that you you got when you're looking for solution such covenants can uh, you know import spirit husband can bring spirit husband into your life when you have an idol so idol of the past it can come through there number five through sacrifice to the river have you ever taken river taken bath by the river side god bless you my son foster you join in from lebanon god bless you so people will take sacrifice rituals you know they will take it to the river throw it inside the water such persons they can acquire spirit husband spirit wife that is how some people they acquire their own then number six through consulting of water spirit you visited water spirit you've gone to the babish to consult the divinance you've consulted water priest or princess and therefore by that singular act a covenant has been established you've sold yourself out to the powers of the water and then you are bound to be in trouble and then number seven true laying on of hands when a false prophet when a marine agent when somebody that is highly possessed of the water spirit lays his or hands upon you there is a transference of spirit that is how some people got spirit wife spirit husband and then number eight through the things you bought from from those with water spirit when you buy things and you don't sanctify them you don't pray on them you can acquire you can accommodate the powers from the waters and once there's a covenant with the waters the marriage from the waters will be consummated the marriage from the water will be consummated a lot of people are so intelligent they are educated they are beautiful yet their lives are messed up it's as a result of the covenant they have with the spirit wife that is unbroken the result of the spirit husband they have you know you know with the, with the spirit spouse that is bringing their battles let me say this sometimes the spirit spouse cannot permit their victim to get married sometimes they will permit their victims to get married but that marriage is going to be messed up that marriage is not going to see the light of the day that marriage is going to be broken so sometimes things like that does happen they permit their spouse to get married and once they leave the person to get married they are going to destroy that marriage that marriage will not, will not last they will ensure that that marriage is destroyed they will ensure the marriage is destroyed excuse me they will ensure that the marriage is destroyed please begin to share let me know that you are joining us wherever you are joining us from um, god bless you now listen to this let's look at the havoc the havoc of the spirit spouse and then we we'll go to solution what are the havoc some of the havoc of the spirit spouse for those who are just joining we are looking at 40 havoc of the spirit spouse 40 havoc of the spirit spouse it means somebody a physical being have a relationship with a spirit being like the one that happened in Sodom and Gomorrah that brought the anger of God upon them a physical being having relationship with an invisible being and that is what we are talking about it is a reality now listen to me somebody came long time ago having relationship with water spirit this man do come to have sex with her in the dream and then she did nothing about it it transcends from being that the man now appear physically if it's going to rain the man will appear and the man will use umbrella to cover her and nobody will see her the man will accompany her to the house and bid her farewell sometimes she asks strangely people you know do not understand what is going on around her until the power of god you know caught up with her and then all this revelation came forth so it is very very important that we have this understanding this knowledge that when people tell you certain things that is happening to them in their dream you'll be able to know the root of it where it's coming from where it's traceable to right now listen to me we've said the activities of the spirit wife and spirit spouse is that people have sex in the dream people 
to get married in, in the dream with strange beings. Sometimes with different faces. People caress them. People romance them. People engage them. People buy marriage gown for them. They keep getting married in the dream, but in the physical, it has never materialized. They see children around them. They see themselves in a strange home with a strange man with strange children. And yet in the physical, they are not married. And sometimes even in the physical, they are married, but those children they are seen, they are known the rich children in the physical. The man that he's seen in the house, or the woman that he he's seen, is a strange being. The face is not familiar. And then a lot of people have kept this to themselves. And that is why a lot of marriage have been broken, a lot of crises affected so many destinies. Now listen to me. If the covenant of spirit spouse is not broken, no matter what, the person will not go far. A lot of certificate. A lady was praying. I gave her some prayer to go and pray. She prayed and prayed. She's looking for a job. She got good results. Very intelligent. All her friends, they've got a job. She got get a job today. Tomorrow she will lose the job. She began to pray. She began to pray. On the seventh day, a man appeared. A man said, and the man said, You are praying, right? Your prayer has been disturbing me. Is it because of your certificate that I took that you have allowed me to have peace? You give me sleepless nights just because I'm holding your certificate? Can't I hold your certificate as your husband? And the, it dawned on the lady, even in the dream, that this is the person that these prayers is referred to. So this is the man that has been committing havoc in my life. And he asked the man, where is my certificate? The man put his hand in his pocket and brought out, you know, original certificate and handed it over to her. And the man, the man asked, now can I have my peace? And the lady said, yes, you can go. Get out of my house. And, and the man stepped out of the house. Oh, the man came back and said, I forgot. Let me carry my bags. Let me carry my shoe. Let me take my things off the anger. And the man cleared everything that belongs to her. I mean, to him, cleared everything that belongs to him, and the man walked away. As the man walked away, she woke up. In less than 10 days, the place that she has applied for a long time, she received an SMS. She got a text message from them that we just want to attempt again to see whether you will reply. We have been sending messages to this number. We have been calling this number. You've never replied. And quickly she replied. Everything they've been doing to her, the spirit spouse has been putting asunder. The spirit spouse has been putting asunder in her relationship. The spirit spouse has been putting asunder in, you know, she getting a job. The spirit spouse can be sponsored by the wicked. The, the spirit spouse can commit a lot of havoc in the life of a man, in the life of a woman. The spirit spouse can come by evil dedication. Were you dedicated? Whom did your parents dedicate you to? All stories can never be told. Your mother took you to some places while you were in the womb. That can bring the spirit husband, spirit wife into the lives of people. Some people, they have changed locations. Some people, they have moved from this job to this job. Some people, they've changed career. They are moving from place to place. And yet, their destiny is unstable like the water. It is simply because the covenant that they have with the waters, the covenant they have with the spirit, husband, spirit, wife, it's unbroken. You know why some men can never settle down? Because the spirit wife has said never. The spirit wife has said never will you get married. Never will you become a father. So it is very, very sacrosanct, it's very, very important to note that what we are talking about is a battle. And it's a battle that you must win. If God be for you, nothing can be against you. If God is on your side, you are not going to fail. You are not going to fail. If God is on your side, you are not going to fail. You are not going to fail. If God is on your side, you are not going to fail. So, and I believe strongly 
that God is on your side. God is on your side. God is on your side. Let's quickly look at some of the havoc of the spirit husband and spirit wife. Let's quickly look at the havoc. Number one, to stop people from getting married. To stop people from getting married. That is number one havoc of the spirit spouse. To stop people from getting married. They are beautiful. They are intelligent. They are very smart. You know, they are attractive. Yet nobody's asking them, I want to marry you. We have a lot of ladies are praying, they are, they, are, they are believing God for the yoke to be broken. It is simply the spirit husband has said no to the marriage. I pray for you tonight. Any spirit husband attached to your life, say no to your marital destiny, shall die in the name of Jesus. Every yoke of the spirit husband in your life is broken, 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 in the name of Jesus. Let me say this. If a man is married to a woman that has a spirit husband, that marriage is still going to have a problem. If the both spouse have spiritual spouses, that marriage is going to have serious problems. There's going to be serious challenges. There's going to be serious battle. There's going to be storm. All the time until they are dealt with i've seen a man told me and said he had a dream and a man woke him up and said come down from this bed this bed belongs to me you are taking my position and the man chased this man out of the room the man have had this dream several times and he called the wife he said dear this is the dream that i've been having and the woman said i'm aware i'm aware he's him he said, who is he he's the spirit husband is the one that normally comes at the hours of the night to come and sleep with me. The man will push you to a corner. He will push you away. Have not defiled me, he will go. He will bid me farewell while you are fast asleep. And he told the, told the husband, we need to fight this battle together. They teamed up, they joined their hands together, and they began to pray until the yoke was broken. I pray for you tonight, every yoke of the spirit spouse around your destiny is broken, it's broken, it's broken, it's broken, it's broken. In the name of Jesus, the yoke is broken. The number two havoc of the spirit spouse is this. To sponsor hatred and rejection. The spirit spouse sponsor hatred and rejection in the lives of people. Not only in marriages now. Wherever you go, people just hate you. People don't want to see you. It means the spirit husband is angry because you are saying no to the continuation of the relationship. And therefore, it plays the mark of hatred and rejection upon the person. And wherever the person goes, the person will be suffering from hatred and rejection. Number three, to scatter marriages and sponsor strange women. You know why? A lot of marriages are experiencing problems today because the spirit husband, the spirit wife, is throwing stones into those marriages. And that is why they're having arguments. They're having a fight. They're having problems. And then sponsor a strange woman. If a woman has a spirit husband and is married and she's married, the spirit spouse will be sponsoring strange women, ensuring the man is going after strange women to create problem for the woman, to take away the peace and the joy of the woman. I pray for you hearing me. Every spirit spouse sponsoring strange women into your home, important strange women into your home shall die in the name of jesus the covenant is broken by thunder in the name of jesus number four they fire the arrow of delay they fire the arrow of delay spirit spouse will ensure that the person that has covenant with him or her they sponsor delay so now listen to me most of the delay that people go through in life is sponsored by spirit husband and spirit wife then number five they chase away good things from people Spirit spouse, spirit wife. When good things are coming, they chase them away. They stand on the way. They chase them away. Then number number six. Number six agenda. Number six havoc of the spirit spouse. They sponsor regular marital crisis. They sponsor regular marital crisis. Until family will not gather, it can be resolved. The woman will stay about three months, sometimes six months in the father's house or in the mother's house, as it were, you know, until the church will be involved, people will have to be talking before they will come together. And that is what the spirit husband does. That is what the spirit wife does. Then number seven, they make men to hate their wives. Some men hate their wives. 
This is the woman they loved in the beginning. They got married to them, but immediately they got married, the spirit of man will appear. And then, you know, sponsor, you know, hatred. Ensure that the man will hate the wife. A lot of men hate their wives. They don't want to see their wives anymore. It is a work of the spirit husband of that woman. Number eight, havoc of the spirit spouse. They make lives. Okay, they also make they make wives to hate their, their husbands. You see some wives, all of a sudden they hate their spouse. Vice versa. They don't feel like continuing the relationship any longer. They feel like quitting. People are not begging them. You need to be patient. You need to wait. You need to endure. No. The spirit spouse is making the woman to hate the husband. Miscarriages. Number nine is miscarriages. A lot of miscarriages is traceable to the attack of the spirit spouse. So women, when they are you know, ovulating, they will have a dream that the spirit spouse will come to defy them. And therefore, when they are pregnant, everything flushed out. It is the spirit spouse at work. Strange voices. You know a lot of women hear strange voices. A lot of people hear strange voices. It is the attack, the stone, the arrows thrown at destinies by spirit spouse. Then number 11, moving objects. Moving objects. Sorry, number 10, moving moving objects. A lot of people feel moving objects around themselves, around, around the waist, around the chest, around the breast. Moving objects is a symptom and is an attack of the spirit spouse. Moving objects. That is number uh, 10. Then number 11, barrenness. Barrenness. A lot of barrenness, inability to bear fruit, even when the doctor certified the both of them to be fit, to be okay, and yet they can't produce. Yet they can't have a child. You know what is responsible? It is the blockade of the spirit spouse. It is the embargo of the spirit spouse. It is the embargo of the spirit spouse. Now listen to this. Number 12. Number 12. Internal heat. Internal heat. Some people, they feel this internal heat from the womb. Some people at the back. Some people, you know, in their waist region. Some people in their head region. Internal heat. These are some of the attacks. These are some of the havoc done by the spirit spouse. Another havoc of the spirit spouse. Another havoc is unholy fear. They plant the seed of unholy fear in their victims. Some people are afraid. They don't know why they are afraid. They can't tell you why they are afraid. It is a havoc of the spirit spouse. They are just afraid. They are afraid of death. They are afraid of this. They are afraid of that. Little, de- little things makes them to be shivering. It is a manipulation of the spirit spouse. Number 15. Attacks on children. The spirit spouse can begin to attack the children. Begin to afflict them. Then you see the parents moving from one clinic to another clinic. They begin to attack their children. The spirit husband will begin to strike, begin to inject those children in their dream. You see them scream out of the sleep. The spirit husband, the spirit wife can do all that. Then number 16, fibro, the one they call fibro, the seed planted there. Those sexual intercourse with the spirit husband will, will give birth to a lot of seed on the inside. The fibro is a seed of the spirit husband. You know why? We have given people who have sex in the dream often time. And the doctor certified them that they have fibroid. We've given them prayers and they just pray the prayer, the fibroid melt out. God's word, God's medicine. Some of you remember that prayer. Some of you have used that prayer and you've got testimonies. That prayers, a lot of women have prayed those prayer, pray that prayer. Just take a cup of cold water, pray the prayers on the inside, drink the water. We have seen testimonies, countless number of testimonies, fibroid melt away. Fibroid melt away. Ovarian cyst disappear. Because these are the seeds of the spirit spouse given to those women to be taken about wherever they go. And then number 17, repeated problems. The spirit spouse sponsor repeated problems in the lives of people. 
18 inability to gather money some people cannot gather money because the spirit husband the spirit spouse will scatter the money they get money they will show the money is scattered so the spirit spouse ensure that that man that woman can give an account of whatever that comes into our hands you you receive salary you get good money but you can't show anything for it there's no achievement there is nothing you can talk about that i've done this with this money you've been working for years the spirit spouse will ensure that that person will not be able to gather money then number number 19 used and dumb syndrome a lot of people people use them and dump them a man will come i want to marry you once the man messed up with the woman he will dump the woman it is a spirit husband that is responsible for such an attack and then we see it happens to women to men too used and dumb they call it heartbreak no no whatever name you call it it is a manipulation orchestrated by the spirit spouse to frustrate the destiny of a person if god had assignment to do to ensure you don't become what god wants you to be that is the agenda the devil came to kill to steal and to destroy so the agenda of the spirit wife and the spirit spouse who told you the roots where it not where it come where it, where it came from the spirit spouse it comes from the water it comes from the family idol it comes from evil dedication it comes from as a result of the things that you bought polluted things that you did not pray on it comes as a result of you going to the river to take bath at night or to throw sacrifices to the water spirit anything sacrificed to the water spirit into the water at the river bank in the ocean it's an invitation you have sold yourself to the powers in the water sometimes your parents can even do it on your behalf you send money to them they do it on your behalf beloved no matter where you are there must be visitation as a confirmation that they that you are not part of them that the covenant has been enacted not until it is broken that person will never have peace let me tell you the spirit spouse can wait for as long as he wants to wait before he will strike and destroy the marriage no matter the peace and the joy they have enjoyed the marriage will go down it will look like you know a drama like a dream but everything will fizzle away just like the smoke let's continue the havoc of the spirit spouse um we are looking at uh, uh we are looking at 40 we are now we are number 20. is number 20 looking number 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 19 used and dumb the number 20 last minute disappointment do you experience last minute disappointment and you do have sex in a dream you do see a man living in the house with a strange man see strange children around you last minute disappointment is one of the havoc of the spirit spouse last minute disappointment it seems it's going to work all of a sudden everything will just disappear the person will be broken down the person will be unhappy for days and it has become a pattern why the spirit husband remains because he's claiming ownership of the person the covenant has not been touched has not even been scratched please wherever you are joining us ensure you share this broadcast i can see all of you you are joining from different locations please share this broadcast share as you share your friends they will be blessed somebody will tell you oh i was blessed by that exhortation because what i'm sharing with you is a revelation what i'm sharing with you is a mystery hidden from a lot of people a lot of people do not have this understanding so ensure that you invite your friends ensure that you share and do that right away now number 21 number 21 starting but never finishing a lot of people they will start something but they will, it will never finish this entire relationship it will not lead to marriage they always start but they will never finish is that havoc is an attack is an agenda it is a root plan of the spirit spouse and these attacks have been prospering in the lives of so many people tonight is a night of deliverance the hand of god is going to come upon you the yoke is going to be broken the embargo is going to be lifted the mask upon your face is going to be shattered whatever the spirit spouse have used to cover you that evil coverage is going to be destroyed in the name that is above every other name jesus the son of the living god is going to be dismantled in the name of jesus now let me continue one of the, another havoc again 22 non-achievement a lot of the non-achievement 
in the lives of people is traceable to spirit spouse. No matter how hard they work, there will be nothing to show for their labor. They work hard, but they've got nothing to present. They have nothing to show. From year to year. 23. Battles for in laws. You know, some people they got married. Since they got married, they've never had peace. Battles from in laws. In laws from the village. In laws in the city. In laws in diaspora. All of them will be throwing stone into their home. They are being manipulated by the source. The root cause is the spirit spouse that refuses to let you go. Is the one that is instigating the trouble. Is the one that is activating all this battle. A lot of people they are facing battles in their from their in-laws. It's as a result of the attack being launched by the spirit spouse. Some men have not given peace to their husbands since they got married. It is as a result of the attack of the spirit wife launching causing you know people to bring problem into the home, especially in-laws. Especially in laws. Now listen to this. Number 24. Making children rebellious. The spirit spouse can make children rebellious. Yes, the spirit spouse can make children rebellious. Do you know what? what? Listen to me. A lot of people, they do not have spirit wife or spirit spouse, spirit spouse, spirit husband before they got married. But they acquired it immediately they got married. They borrow things from people. They buy things without praying on them. And then the spirit spouse begin to harass them. Some via fornication, some via adultery, having sex with somebody that has other spirit, having sex with marine agents, and then they acquire it, and then they roll for it, and then they grab it, and then their life is messed up. Number 25. Rising and falling. The spirit spouse can sponsor rising and falling. You know why a lot of people are rising and falling today? It's because they have spirit spouse. The root of their rising and falling is the spirit wife, is the spirit spouse that is hiding somewhere and has been troubling their lives. Now listen, some people may say, Oh, I don't pastor, I don't have spirit spouse, I don't have spirit husband, I don't have a dream, you know, about it. But immediately they are giving that prayer to pray. The prayer against the spirit wife, against the spirit spouse, immediately they pray the prayers, there will be a stir up. You know why it looks as if there's nothing like that to some people. They felt. But things happen to them in the physical. It's a pointer that this is the handwork of the spirit husband. This is the handwork of the spirit spouse. They will say no, but in the dream I don't see it. But just give them, give them prayer and you see. It's as if you stare at the silent water. The terrible, the dangerous animals that are be hiding inside the water. All of them, you see them. They will roar out. And that is what happens to so many people. It's because you've not prayed. Once you pray the prayers, you will see that they will be stirred up. Some people say they don't have ancestral. Ancestral spirit do not drip, they trouble them. They don't have dreams about their father's house. Oh, the familiar spirit is hiding and is walking behind the closed door. He's doing all the cool to make sure you don't become what God wants you to be. By the time the person begins to pray, by the time you are now violent, by the time you now begin to pray like a mad prophet, by the time you now put on the spirit of enough is enough, you will see of a surety, you will see of a truth that this thing has been hidden somewhere, has been there, walking silently, walking silently. Number number 26, memory failure, memory failure, an attack, and a havoc of the spirit spouse. Number 25, okay, number 27, sorry, number 27. Slow progress and bad luck. Slow progress and bad luck. Most of the bad luck, most of the slow progress, a lot of ladies, a lot of men are going through is simply because of the battle from the waters, the battle of the spirit husband, the battle of the spirit wife. Oftentimes, men, a lot of men are messed up because of the result of the spirit husband of their wife wasting their lives, scattering their money. And you know, some women, they are aware of this, but they can never tell their husband. They are afraid of losing the man. They are afraid of losing the marriage. They are afraid of their husband being scared of them. Not knowing that when you tell him, seek counsel. When you seek counsel, you'll be guided. When you tell him, after prayers, 
the man is going to join you to chase the strange husband away. It is very easy for the spirit husband to be chased away when the man and the woman comes together. When the both of them join hands together. Some women cannot even share with their pastor. Some ladies cannot even share with the man of God what they are going through. That the spirit spouse is coming. But thank God for that old woman at the age of 60. That was when the yoke was broken in her life. The spirit spouse has been there. Say, Pastor, this this man will come and be rubbing my back, be massaging me. He will come and be sucking my breast. Immediately the yoke was broken. She became free. Number 28, suicidal thoughts. You know why some ladies are having, some people are having suicidal thoughts? It's as a result of the spirit spouse. Yes, the marriage spirit, the spirit husband. Often time plant the suicidal thoughts in people. You want them to destroy themselves. You want them to end it all. Because he has made all, he has closed all doors. He ensures that nothing the person does prospers. He ensures that the person is crawling. And therefore the person will, you know, subscribe to suicide. But what am I living for? I've done this, I've done this, I've done this with my certificate. I've been looking for job for many years. Nothing good is coming out of my life. Then what am I living for? Such thoughts emanate from the, you know, from the spirit husband, the spirit wife. They are being inspired, you know, by the spirit spouse. Twenty-nine, projection of wasteful habits. The spirit husband can project wasteful habits into a man, into a woman, and the spirit wife can project wasteful habits into, you know, the man. And the man begins to smoke. He begins to drink. Before you know it, he's now sick. Wasteful habits. A lot of the wasteful habits you see in ladies. Ladies smoking. Lady giving to terrible alcohol. Lady living. Most of the ladies living wayward, wayward life. Living life that does not please God. It's as a result of the manipulation by the spirit husband. To ensure that they don't become what God wants them to be. That is the agenda. They don't get married. They don't, they don't succeed maritally. They are delayed in life. They are stuck in destiny. Now listen to this. As I said before, it's so sad that a lot of ladies hide the fact that they have water spirit. Excessive flair for colors. Excessive flair for materialism is a symptom that water spirit is at work. Unholy anger. When you are angry, you begin to destroy things and scatter things. The spirit husband is at work. The spirit wife is at work. The spirit from the water is committing the havoc. It's a spiritual marriage that needs to be broken. Number 30. Repeated. Repeated. Disappointment. Repeated disappointments. Once there's repeated disappointment in relationship, in marriage, the spirit husband, the spirit wife is at work. 31. Sickness that defy diagnosis. Insanity. Seeing what others cannot see. It is an attack by the spirit spouse. Number number 30, 32, hardship. Spirit spouse can sponsor hardship to frustrate the marriage, to frustrate the destiny of the person. 33, regular sexual harassment in the dream. Regular sexual harassment in the dream. Number Number 34, seeing naked people in the dream. Seeing naked people in the dream. 35, uncontrollable sexual urge. 36, pushing people into unpardonable errors. A lot of people make unpardonable errors in their place of work, in the office, in wherever they are. Mistakes that destroy marriages. They just fall into it once and that marriage is broken. It's gone. The relationship is gone. And that is why a lot of people, they are where they are today. 
They are being pushed into those unpardonable errors by spirit spouse. 36, I mean 37 now. Internal weakness. Some people just they, 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 they feel weak on the inside. It is an injection as a result of the blood that has been entering into the person through sex in the dream. So they feel internal weakness often time. And then number uh, number 30, 38. The way of such persons are locked up in the water. Whoever that has come out with a spirit husband or spirit wife, their wealth are locked up in the water. Their prosperity is locked up in the water. Their good things are locked up in the water. So there are a lot of people. They are just struggling. They are not where they're supposed to be in life. Something deep down is telling them on the inside. Hey, you are not where you ought to be. This is not where you're supposed to be. Something is telling them. They're having that notion on the inside. Something is, you know, you know, speaking on the inside of them. That where you are is not the place you're supposed to be. Where you are is not the place you're supposed to be. Their prosperity is locked up in the water. It's caged in the water. When the wealth of a man is caged in the water, you marry such a man and you're not prayerful, you are going to suffer in that home. You are going to crawl. But when you become prayerful, and you could be broken, the wealth will be released. 30, 30, 39. Limitation and sudden death. Limitation, sudden death is traceable to the attack from the water. A lot of destiny limitation, a lot of sudden death. You see people who have come out with one spirit, who have come out with the, with, with the spirit spouse. You see them sometimes to tell you they're going to die in this age. This thing is going to happen to them. Some of the evil that is occurring to them, they are aware. They know that those evil have been calendared by the spirit spouse, by the spirit husband. When those things are happening, sometimes they just laugh. They know where it's coming from. You sympathize with them, it does not move them. They know that it's a revenge. They know that it's an attack against them. Against them. 40. 40. This one is strange. You've seen some ladies that are older than their age. It's because the spirit spouse is wearing them strange garments. That's why you see some ladies that are older than their age. And men can't approach them. And sometimes when somebody want, is planning to get married to them, once a man appears, you discover that suddenly they become older than their age. But if there is nobody in their life, they are very young, oh, they look pretty. People, but maybe a man is coming close to them. Another image will reflect through them. Another identity is given to them. The identity is replaced, it's exchanged. That's why I say a lot of ladies are not married. So a lot of men, a lot of women, they are seeing their wives to be strange as a result of the attack of the spirit spouse. You know why a lot of these, these miscarriages, there's barrenness, uh, visions being shattered. It is the work of the spirit husband. He will ensure that you don't see money. He will ensure that your husband is frustrated. He will ensure that your husband is sacked. He will ensure that, oh, you begin to sell your properties. He will ensure that there's great problem. He will ensure that you can never stay under any man. He will sustain unholy anger on the inside of you. And once unholy anger is there, such a woman cannot make any home. No man wants to accommodate any angry woman. Because the man will first say, oh, this woman is going to chase away my mother. This woman cannot tolerate my brother. I can't tolerate my siblings. Therefore, I can't settle down with this woman. So a lot of battles that people are facing in their marriages is simply because the spirit spouse, the spirit husband is at work. The womb of a lot of women is in the water, is in the hands of the spirit spouse. I was praying for a lady, we were praying and I gave her some prayer assignment to go and do. I gave her some instructions. I told her when to pray the prayer, midnight prayers, pray those prayers, pray them very well. Don't be afraid, do this and do this, um, pertaining to prayers and she obeyed those prayers. Anoint yourself, you know, when you sleep, anoint your head, anoint the house when you sleep. Ensure that when you sleep, you dress properly. And all of a sudden, as he began to pray, 40 day, 49 prayers, 
in between a man appeared and said you have troubled us enough the things that do not belong to you you are setting them ablaze on fire if it is because of your womb that is in my custody you have been doing all this take your womb open a container and give something like a substance to her give it to her this is your womb something fresh just gave it to her and she woke up in no distant time this lady she became pregnant dream is a reality dream is a reality the you that you see in your dream is the real you is your true identity so the you that you see in the dream is the you and that is the spirit of a man your dream is a reflection of the things that is going to happen to you often time what you see in your dream can determine how, what, how your life will go your dream is a pointer whether it is well with you so listen to me most of the problems that is happening to a lot of destinies is as a result of the spirit spouse spirit wife the attack of the spirit wife on marriages the attack of the spirit wife spirit husband against finances some people can't gather money some people with the work money they don't know what they do with it it is a work it is the havoc of the spirit spouse the spirit spouse they use the broom to sweep away peace from home and therefore there will never be peace in that house the more you try to please the man the more the man hates you he doesn't want to see you anymore he doesn't have anything to do with you anymore a lot of people a lot of people are living in the same home they're living as strangers the root cause is the spirit husband the spirit husband can give a woman some time even after getting married for many years the day will come he will knock on the door and begin to strike and that is why these prayers are necessary these prayers are very very necessary every spirit spouse every spirit wife attached to you what keeps them is sin iniquity separate you from god construct a bridge for the access of the enemy so sin can keep the spirit spouse in your life forever so this prayer is not a prayer for those who are still living a double life you must decide whom you serve what is the way out you must give your life to christ what is the solution number two when you go to bed go to bed properly dressed don't go to bed naked three don't sleep like the dead what i mean by sleeping like the dead your head facing up no don't sleep like the dead sleep sideways don't sleep like the dead don't sleep your head facing the ceiling once you do that you grant access you grant access to the water spirit you grant access to the water spirit how do i cure the water spirit pray against anger pray against anger pray against anger how do i get out of the water spirit do your wardrobe check that is to say examine what you wear what you put on can activate the covenant can keep the covenant intact check what you put on how do i deal with the water spirit how do i deal with the issue of spirit husband spirit wife Pray the midnight prayer. Worship God at the hours, the few, at the early hours of the day, very early in the morning. Wake up and go into worship with God, and then don't forget you must go for deliverance as well. You must go for deliverance. Try and go for deliverance. Jesus said, "This kind go not except by fasting and prayers." That is the way to go. Ensure that you read your Bible, feed your spirit man with the Word of God. The Word of the, the Word of God is the first cure. The word of God is the power of God Himself, and the word of God has is the solution to every problem that is coming to man. So ensure that you feed your spirit man with the word of God. The devil cannot resist the word of God. 
The more of the word of God you take in, the more you are being eliminated. The more of God's fire on the inside of you. Once the spirit of man comes, he's going to be in trouble. And then always anoint yourself before you go to bed. Anoint yourself. Before you go to bed, anoint yourself. Say, this oil here become the blood of Jesus, the blood that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. Anoint yourself before you go to bed. Anoint your husband. We have I've seen cases where the husband is having a very strange and stubborn spirit wife. And the man is the woman is having a very stubborn and jealous spirit husband. It messed up their life. It not the grace of God. That marriage wouldn't have survived. So these are the things you do, and then victory is sure. Victory is sure. Ensure you go for deliverance. Then ensure that you are also fearless. Don't be afraid, be bold. Be bold. Be bold. Be bold. Wherever you are, I'm going to pray with you. But if you so desire to pray those prayers, of the water spirit to pray to break the covenant with spirit husband spirit wife our helpline is there send the whatsapp message to that helpline i'm going to take your case i'm going to give you counsel i'm going to give you audience and then i will also give you a guideline on how to pray those prayers and you're going to be free the bible said but well, this is a light thing in the hands of god this is not an issue we serve a great god our god is greater than our enemies you remain in bondage where there is no information. My people are perished, they are destroyed because they lack knowledge. Knowledge is powerful. Now you know that the spirit husband is the reason why a lot of people are not married, a lot of people have been covered, is the reason why a lot of people are having miscarriages, barrenness, hatred and rejection, delay and disappointment, frustration and marital crisis. It is, it, now you now know, is now your responsibility to Take up the issue and present it to God in prayers and then you are going to be free. You need not to be afraid. It might be there for a very long time. As knowledge came, knowledge represents life. You are going to be set free. God cannot abandon his own. You belong to God like a child of God. Cry to God. Take it up to God in prayers. But you need a guide. That is why we put our helpline there. Send us a message. We'll, send, we'll give you the prayers that you need to pray. And the WhatsApp line is up there. We'll send you prayers that you need to pray. And then we'll guide you. Once you pray those prayers faithfully, you follow the instruction given to you. Just as I've instructed, the things that you must do, the things you mustn't do in order to uh, be delivered. Once you follow those instructions, deliverance is strong. And then you need not to repeat the prayers again. You are going to be free just once. And there is a kind of life you must not go back to. Just as we have explained, you must flee from sin. You must ensure that you give your time to God. You must give your time to God. Once you do that, the yoke of spirit spouse, the yoke of spirit husband is going to be broken. The yoke of spirit wife is going to be broken. No matter how long you have been non-bondage, it's going to be broken. A lot of people, they are contented with it. Do you know some people, they even... You know, uh, uh, celebrate the spirit spouse in their lives. I've seen a woman told the husband, You can't do anything. You are not strong in bed. You are very weak in bed. But the spirit husband is very, very good. I don't like having sex with my husband, but I enjoy the sex with the spirit husband the more. It's simply the spirit husband has attacked the husband's sexual you know, performances, and the man in the physical cannot perform cannot perform a lot of low sperm count is as a result of the attack of the spirit spouse against such a man the spiritual husband of the woman is la- is launching attack against the, the the organ of the man and resulting to loose sperm count resulting to weak erection the man can't perform and these are some of the attacks these attacks is going to be tackled in prayers so use the helpline we will guide you through and the lord will help you in jesus name I'm going to pray for you wherever you are. I just want to pray for you briefly. I decree by the decree of heaven upon your life, every covenant with the spirit husband is broken in the name of Jesus. Whatever God has not planted, be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Today, the Lord will open your eye to see deep and great things that you need to know in the name of Jesus. Whatever the spirit spouse has taken from you that has been captured, has been imprisoned in the custody of the spirit husband, spirit wife, today their custody is broken and shattered. 
and you are possessing your possession in the name that is above every other name jesus the son of the living god in the name of jesus i command all your blessings in the water to be restored all your blessings that the spirit husband has swallowed the spirit wife has swallowed for me them by fire in the name of jesus i command your blessing that is caged in the water be released now be released now every covenant you have with the spirit husband be broken you have the spirit wife be broken every covenant your husband has with the spirit wife be broken now every covenant with family spirit husband family spirit wife with ancestral spirit be broken now every covenant you have with the water that is backing up this battle in your life be destroyed in the name of jesus the covenant is broken 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 in the name of jesus every moving object in your body every moving object in your body whatever the spirit spouse has sponsored in your life i command the moving object hear the word of the lord disappear now disappear now disappear now disappear now by fire by fire by fire by fire in the name of jesus every seed called fibroid ovary assist that has been planted on the inside of you as a result of sex with spirit husband as a result of sex with spirit husband at the hours of the night unknown to you today by the power in the blood of jesus be uprooted by fire be uprooted by fire tonight there's going to be divine surgical operation whatever god has not planted in your life shall be uprooted i immunize your bedroom i immunize your bed i immunize your bed i immunize your body i immunize your husband i immunize your wife today against the manipulation of the spirit spouse in the name of jesus be terminated by fire be terminated by fire be terminated by fire be terminated by fire the, the, your blessings that has been captured by spirit spouse be released be released be released be released your heaven that has been shut your heaven that has been closed by spirit spouse open by fire 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 in the name of jesus in the name of jesus every spiritual injection that has been given to you by spirit husband via sex in the dream i commanded evil blood that moving object be flushed out by fire 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 in the name of jesus every mark of hatred and rejection placed upon you by the spirit husband by the spirit wife be raised by fire now 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 in the name of jesus every mask Place upon your face by the spirit spouse be broken 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 in the name of jesus be broken by fire be broken by fire be broken by fire be broken by fire every evil mask making good things to pass you by making her pass not to see you that has been placed upon your head that has been placed upon your life be broken by thunder be broken by thunder be broken by thunder in the name of jesus hear me that sister that lady that spirit husband inhabiting you living inside of you using your body for experiment inhabiting your body today i command the spirit husband go and come no more 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 every water component on the inside of you dry up by fire dry up by fire in the name of jesus i command that water component that the spirit husband is inhabiting on the side of you be troubled by fire be troubled by thunder you that spirit husband go and come no more you that spirit wife go and come no more in the name of jesus any power summoning you any power dry Taking you to the water, any power activating the covenant in your life, die by fire, die by fire, die by fire, die by fire. Embargo placed upon your marriage, embargo placed upon your marriage by spirit spouse. Be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you, wherever you're joining. 
please you can still share so that others will be blessed god bless all of you god bless you all in the name of jesus until we come your way again by the grace of god on thursday by the grace of god on thursday will come your way god bless you god bless you all in the name of jesus bye bye